We got a lot of snow these past three days. I think this is some kind of record. <laughs> At least those years I have been living here for the first snow. Usually it snows and thaws away and snows and thaws away. And so the morning chores are done and uh, Tuva is still not home from work. I don't know how much we have talked about this before in this vlog don't remember. She's working as a breakfast cook at a hotel. So she's waking up really early and goes to work and it's not a full-time job she has so she's not away that long. But enough so that we can afford to eat together with all the nice patrons that support this channel. And I was really worried that she might not get out with the car through all this snow. If you have seen the homestead tour video we did some time ago, there is a slope that leads to our place. And in the summer we can drive our cars to our place, but in the winter we are more or less roadless. Now it's time for breakfast for me as well. I got still got a lot of shoveling to do, but we'll do that after breakfast. I'm a little bit worried that it's going to go get plus degrees. It's about zero degrees soon. And uh, I've got some reports that it's plus degrees in other places close by here. And then it's a lot more work with the snow. If it gets wet and heavy. Yeah, well, time for breakfast. The first heavy snowing are always exciting. So yesterday morning I was leaving for work. I leave at five o'clock in the morning and I was very glad that I have drove my car up the little hill the night before because it has snowed a lot during the night. So then I only had to go straight forward, put the 
foot on the gas and do a little swirly moving on the road. And then I came to the bigger small road, the gravel road, and they hadn't cleared the snow away from that either, so the, <laughs> the adventure continued. But I got to work a little bit late, but I got there. We meant to record this yesterday, but it went dark so fast, so we do it today instead. And now it's maybe one or two plus degrees, so the snow is very wet and heavy now. It isn't as pretty on the trees anymore. The snow has fallen off, but the winter is here. I think it's a bit early, but now we have to roll with it. It takes some days for, for us to get used to it, but yeah. Så ska vi se Åke och Sivert. Då är det flicka som är mamma till dem. Åke och Sivert, 14 mars 2019. We are selling Åke today, so we have some paper turning to attend to, because we are part of the Heritage Breed program, so there's a lot of papers to sign. Hur långt bort bort den? Um, typiskt, alltså var det frösen kanske? Ja, så det tar ändå en. En och en halv timme. Ja. Stoppa in nu ved om jag ska få något helt vatten till disk. Mm. Jaha, vad ska vi säga då? Prata om sån avbildning eller någonting? Berätta då. So this is gonna be my new hat or beanie or cap or whatever. <laughs> beanie. The beanie. word beanie sounds so urban to me. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> mössa. This is my new mössa. And it's a yarn that I bought that is Merino wool and alpaca wool and nettles. And I really like the color combination of green and yellow. Yeah, the nettles is exciting. Yeah, so uh, maybe it's stronger because of the nettles. A vegetable fiber, a longer vegetable fiber mm. that is uh, making the yarn potentially stronger. Mm. That's really interesting because otherwise they they mix in plastics so mm. often to make the yarn stronger. Mm. So I really like the combination with natural fibers mm. like hemp or linen, uh, linen or silk. Mm. So we are using a technique called nollbinding, or in English needle binding. And this is a technique that predates the knitting or crocheting. So the Vikings used this technique to make garments. And I really like the technique. It's easy and I think it's beautiful when it's done. You have to use yarn uh, from wool. You can't use any fake plastic yarns. Well, you can, but then you have to do a knot because you can only have uh, a piece of yarn to work with and mm. then you have to take a new piece and connect it. So with wool yarn you can just wet it and scrub it like this to get it warm and then it gets stuck to stuck together. Yeah, what's that called? I'm not sure. But if you to have... Tova in, <laughs> tova. in Swedish. Um, <laughs> but if you have another sort of yarn, I think you have to do a knot. 
But I know people who also make knots with the wool yarn because they don't hmm. have the energy or then the don't want to. the garment is full of knots. No, I tried something and they won't be that visible. So I guess it's that what is, you prefer. Uh, but it's easy and it's it looks good. There is one downside or it can be a positive thing as well. Mm. It's a series of knots. So if you make something wrong, you're stuck. You have to unknot it. Unknot it. You can't and just can rip difficult. it up. No. Uh. But if it, <laughs> but if it breaks, then there's just one small hole because it won't rip yeah. like mm. the knitting does. Mm. So that's a good thing too. Aye, and if you are rich and have a lot of yarn, you can just cut where you have done something wrong and throw away the the wrong thing. So if if something goes wrong here you can just cut away that one and continue from from where you cut. Mm. So there is a lot of different kind of knots. Most of them have been forgotten. You know two knots or three three knots. Mm. One knot with two variations and mm. then another depending on how you go with the needle in and out and so if then, you use a thumb or not, and if you use a needle or not, there is a lot of different kind of techniques. So I think this knot makes it a little bit wavy. Mm, it's really beautiful. In the pattern. Yeah, yeah I, I really like the, the pattern it makes, or the texture. St stripe, I don't know. What is texture in? Texture. Uh, the texture, or how to... Uh, It's not as stretchy as when you're, or it's more or less not stretchy at all, a little bit, but... Because it's not... It's yeah, it's stuck. not as stretchy, stretchy as uh, knitting, mm. I would say. But it's a relaxing and good technique, and you don't need much, just your hands and one needle. Mm. So I have never learned knitting. No, I Yet, can't. I want mm. to, but... I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't seen on YouTube if there is a lot of tutorials about this. Maybe there is. Mm. I can can probably search for it and we can see if there is some tutorials. And if we don't find this particular knot, maybe we can make a little small how-to mm. if someone is interested. Speaking of knitting, we have some new followers from a wooden nest. Yeah, there is this woman that makes really interesting knitting podcasts on YouTube. So some kind of video podcasts. And she referred her viewers to our channel. So if you're interested in knitting stuff and beautifully made video podcasts, you can check her channel out. We put the link in the description. Um, I can just give you a, a tip that I learned. Just have to glue them together. Uh, what was I saying? A tip uh, that you learned. Yeah, a tip that I learned. When making uh, small wooden projects, uh, if it's really thin and small, you don't have to worry about, you usually don't have to worry about it cracking when drying. This was from a fresh, so really green woodworking. Uh, but this was from the the firewood pile and uh, when when I'm making these small bowls or wooden bowls oftentimes in the end grain it cracks if it dries too fast so then you can have a plastic bag to put it in and close and every day you take out the 
the wooden thing and uh, turn the bag inside out and then put it inside again and close and you do that for I don't know till it's dry <laughs> if you're really nerdy you can uh, uh, put the wooden piece on a scale and uh, watch when it starts to but I also guess you can see inside the bag when it stops to get uh, moisture, moisture mm -hmm. inside the bag mm. then it's pretty much dry yeah that's and that's why you turn the bag inside out to get the the moisture to the leaves, but the bag mm. somehow makes the moisture to come out from the wood in a slower way, so it doesn't crack. Yeah, about this project, <laughs> uh, the founder of Patreon have some kind of competition where creators can uh, send in some work, whether it's a song or a video mm -hmm. or a text or a and uh, the work has to be reviewed in less than three minutes yeah so we are going to publish a small video after this one that is going to be part of that comp competition that is less than three minutes long <laughs> <laughs> he is calling it super patron uh, what you can win is some kind of salary a year's worth yeah of a salary. year's worth of salary so you can be at home and create what what you what are you, uh, work on what you are working on creatively. Mm. So uh, uh, a support for artists or creators. Uh, it would be a, <laughs> a a salary much more than we ever have <laughs> earned <laughs> in a year. But so for us, it's maybe five years worth of salaries. But but it would be so nice to to have that security and put more effort and time yeah, in, in what we are all, doing in here. All, in all we are doing, yes. And thanks to all our patrons now, it makes it possible for me to be at home and focus on on working on this place and doing all these vlogs. So we have reached half our dream, even though we are very much out of money all the time but we have chosen to live like this so mm. and sadly now or positively depending on <laughs> how to see yeah. how to look at it you have been fired from from the work that you are doing right now yeah due to low lack, lack of yeah due work. to lack of work yeah. But I don't know. I have a lot to do. I have a lot to do when I'm there, so I'm not sure what they're really, basing it on. Really, so really bad uh, employers. So I have work until the last of November, mm. and then I have found some extra work on other places. On other places, mm. but it won't be the same. Mm. This was a kind of secure because it was a full time, not full time part-time but but guaranteed work for yeah uh, for like guaranteed uh, a certain amount of work guaranteed mm. the All other the work time mm, like the other work is for have, hour yeah so yeah. it can be more one month and less the other month mm. and it's also this new one is also a seasonal work in the mountains so it's only for the winter season. for the winter mm. season and then nothing so so the the goal now is to just keep on doing this vlog and growing the audience and 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 hopefully growing the patreon income as well so Tova also can be at home and hopefully we can start making more handicrafts and things small things that we hope we and we have some kind of plan that we want to start selling some small things and also sheep skins and mm. naturally tanned and, and uh, oh, yeah. upfed. Born and raised mm. here. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, but so you'll see about this 
after this video we are gonna release a small one and you're gonna get some news as well, I guess. <laughs> if you can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, if you can figure it out. <laughs> I guess you will. Since when, uh, when I speak of Patreon to, to people and, and what we do here on this YouTube channel, uh, there seems to be a lot of people that doesn't, doesn't know what Patreon is. So I just wanted to show you what it is and how it works. So welcome to my office. This is where I sit and edit most of the vlogs. And what I wanted to show you now is that when you have watched one of our vlogs, you can go down here to the description and click on Patreon. And this is what it looks like. And you can see here we have 108 patrons and we are very proud and thankful that you want to support us on this channel. Then you can click on become a patron here and then you have to sign in. You can sign in with Google, Facebook or just with your name and email. Once you have signed in you come to this page and here it already says five dollars. With this you can change this to one dollar that is the lowest amount but this is up to you and how much you want to give. And one important thing is that there is a monthly limit here. You can either choose I'd like to support every creation or I'd like to set a monthly limit. So you can put this to one dollar. I'd like to set a monthly limit and put this to one. That is the least amount you can support us with. Even though we put out 10 vlogs in a month, you only donate for the first vlog one dollar. Then the next month after that, you donate again for the first vlog in that month with one dollar. It's like this so that creators can't go haywire with their content creation and patrons feel like they have to pay too much. But as you know we put out two, three, we hope to put out four vlogs in a month. So with this you don't have to feel like you need to do it like that. If you choose to do it I'd like to support every creation you know it's two, three or four times a month depending on how it looks for us and if we for some reason starts to make more you can al always change this whenever you like. Most of our patrons choose between uh, three or five dollars and this one we don't have any clue on what they have chosen but the good thing with this is that many people can support us with very small amount and when the donation adds up to becoming something that we can rely on so that we know that we can afford to eat and buy food for our dogs and stuff like that. After you have chosen your amount and your method here you just put your payment details in and finish up. There is some kind of taxes here so if you choose two dollars there is a total of two dollars and fifty cents but it's all transparent here so you see exactly what it's it's going to cost you. There is lots of artists that has a Patreon page. Here is one that makes beautiful paintings, aquarelle paintings of forests. And here is one that makes beautiful masks. I can't say what technique she is using but the masks she makes is really cool. And this is a podcast in Swedish about northern part of, of Sweden. Very interesting to listen to if you know Swedish. I can put links to these artists in the description as well. But as you see there is lots of cool artists that get their support from patrons. So this is a very safe and easy way to support us. So now you know what Patreon is and how you can support us if you want to. We have nothing behind the paywall. So this is just for those that feel that they can afford to support us with as little or as much as you feel. So we wanted to thank some new patrons, Rebecca, Genevieve, Lucia and Joel. Thank you so much. Thank you. We really appre appreciate it. And even though you feel you can't support us in that way, we are really thankful for all the support we get when you're subscribed to this channel and commenting and giving us, mm, mm. giving us 
nice feedback. Thank you. Thank you so much. I guess we're gonna go out and shovel some snow so the new owner of Åke will come through. Yeah, we'll see how we're gonna get the get Åke to the car. We got Åke easily to the car. She had a big four-wheel drive truck so she could drive through the snow all the way to the pen. Now we just have to get Stig to the ladies and hopefully the ladies welcome him. So I guess that's it for this vlog. Thank you for watching and we see you in the next one. Det var svårt för att brinna idag. Jag la in en massa men det verkar inte så mycket. Mm, jag putta in uh, luckan. luckan lite så att det skulle låta så mycket när vi spelar in. Mm.